Hey guys, what is going on? It's Baby Assassin Games here, and today we got another Minecraft update. And uh, to be honest, I actually don't really feel like doing these videos anymore, but I know how much you guys like them and how much you guys need to be informed. So uh, we got update 1.55. Oh my god, it's another. Oh, another big one. I accidentally hit cancel there, but um, we're going to read most of them, but not all of them because that's a lot to read, and I don't. It's my summer break, okay? I'm not trying to read. But, uh,. There's a lot of fixes for item frames that don't show names. Um, wow, only regular skeletons spawning in the nether. That must have been so annoying. Um, constructing an end portal and a certain method can lead to the end portal being created next to the portal frame. Don't know what that is. Um, bed explode when TNT explodes is disabled. Okay, that's not good. Mobs can't move with the block above them. Uh, zombie villagers spawn eggs are the wrong color. Don't know why that's important. Two types of bone block with different pictures. When trying to throw food, villagers throw it in the wrong direction. <laughs> Time spent on the pause menu when underwater counts towards the free drive, uh, free diver trophy. Uh, farmer villagers only plant one seed after harvesting a whole crop of seeds from a field. Um, fix for being unable to get those trophies. Player can kill a tamed parrot with PvP disabled. That'd be unfortunate. Fixed an incorrect death messages when players were killed by zombie villagers. Um, fixed a bug where wheat, ladders, and banners were not correctly spawning in woodland mansions. Um, fixed a bug where broken banners won't stack on crafted ones. Uh, all the ones I'm not reading, you can just pause and read as I go along. But um, I'm just trying to find which ones I think are most important. Improved performance in solo glide when restarting the level, particularly in split screen spec. Sp well, spectators, that's what I thought. And I went specters in my mind. I was like, no, you're an idiot. Totem of Undying now also applies fire resistance too. Uh, fix some areas where it is possible to escape from battle maps or glide tracks. And we got a new skin pack, we got a new glide pack, a free glide pack. Hey, that's pretty cool. Added terracotta and glazed terracotta later layers to tumble so sweet they're still supporting tumble and battle that's awesome and they added free maps to glide i think that's sweet and I'm, i might actually do a video on that and uh here's a little shout out for all my friends i don't know why this is some people like this hey there's me i got red hood four likes what who liked it who even does that anymore oh ghost Ark, what's up how you doing it's been a while but um yeah, it's been a while since, uh, this was actually uh, the stupidest feature ever, well, second stupidest, uh, it was very useless, and it, it would say I'm playing a game for the first time if I just deleted it and re-downloaded it. Every Vita player knows Nier is the stupidest thing ever, but anyway, this is not a PS Vita review, it's a Minecraft update, and that's what happened, update 1.55, or 55, make sure to update, it's gonna make your game great, this one is not as big. As the other one, the other one took me about 20 to 30 minutes to download. That was insane. But anyway, uh, if you want to see more PS Vita, you can check out my Killzone Mercenary walkthrough. I'm starting a campaign walkthrough. I have part one up now, and it'll probably be in the top right. I've done a Resistance Burning Skies walkthrough. It's a pretty cool game. Amazing campaign. I've done a Call of Duty Declassified walkthrough. It's not here because I deleted it. I've done a Minecraft walkthrough on PS4, and uh, enough promoting my videos. Have a wonderful day, everyone. And peace out.